presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Potter has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep to open up the ball game. Here we go, folks. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle at the 33-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. They'll bring him down at the 38-yard line. And that one goes for about five yards and first down. And that's just great execution on that short pass play. It was a great read by the quarterback there to take the snap and throw it quickly to get the first. First and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. Here we go. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. He's tackled right around the 40. Here's third and eight. Ball on their own 40. And they make the stop around the 38-yard line. I'll tell you something, I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 38. Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. That makes it second and six. And he's taken down at the 32. That's good for a gain of one yard. That'll make it from the 32-yard line. It's third down. Setting up blockers, a running back's got it on the screen. Brought down at the 31. That screen play gets him a yard at the most. Pittsburgh could take the lead with this field goal. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and it's good! Line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. Clemson's offense, a lot of times they can spread things out and they can really be versatile offensively, but when you've got a wide receiver like this, it really helps the cause. It does, and it, and it continues to help with what they're trying to do. They're trying to find matchups, and when you have one player like this that the defense has got to be aware of, they're going to spread you out, try to find the one-on-one -on -one matchup, and if you spend too much time with this one player, they've got some other weapons to make you pay for it. He faked out everybody in the stadium. When you can sell the run that well, you're going to have the upper hand on the defense. Right 
It's first and ten. Ball on their own 44. And they push him out at the 46-yard line. And he tackles him hard at the 45. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. From the 45-yard line, first down. Here's the halfback. He's taken down at the 42. Three-yard gain by the running back. Not much gained on that play because his safety did a wonderful job of getting up there and making a good tackle on the ball carrier. third down and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker Let's go. he scrambled tackle made at about the 21 so with that run they pick up another first it's a nice job again up front by the offensive line they're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field got the corner he gets out to about the 11 yard line he caught some key blocks and was able to turn it into a 10 yard gain and this play is number eight on the drive throws it out and it falls incomplete that is textbook pass defense as soon as the ball hit the receiver's hands he was all over him. so it's third down and they're just inches away from picking up the first down gets to about the 11 yard line you know sometimes the defense just has a beat on an option and there's no way the offense can gain positive yards on it Nice play fake. Complete. He's got room. Steps out of bounds at the nine yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Gets it out in a hurry. Here's the 12th play of the drive. Touchdown, Clemson! such a talented, skillful back as you saw right there. What makes him even better is that these coaches know how to use him. And he adds the extra point. A 12-play, 70-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. The score now, 7-3. Clemson to kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Fires out quickly to the tailback. I think it was a great play call, and it was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play.
Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Down he goes, around the 36-yard line. Wide receiver screenplay. He's tackled at about the 47-yard line. From their own 47-yard line. It's first down. He's got an opening. Knocked out of bounds at the 47. Gets to about the 44-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Receiver screen and he can't hang on. Chipley is the deep man awaiting the return. Sometimes it's not the huge distance, but precision that you need from your punter. Nicely done. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Clemson holds a four-point lead. He makes it to the 15-yard line. He holds on to it and gets maybe two yards. It's second and eight. Ball on the 15. And he just gets rid of it. Gets it out to the halfback. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Fourth down upcoming as they go three and out. Madison, the return man. Madison fields it at the 48. He's taken down at the 34. The Tigers really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He's at the 20. Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. And he makes it out to about the five-yard line. Gain of three yards. That brings him second and goal. Touchdown, Pittsburgh! So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he hits the PAT. And it 
looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Right, this has been a great game to watch. A lot of competitive spirit out there. The offenses seem to be going up and down the field. Back and forth we go. I think the winner will be which defense can make that pivotal stop to secure a victory. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. And they hit him in the backfield. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on their own 24. Here he goes. He makes his way to about the 32. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it third and three. There are three quarters remaining. The Panthers with a three-point lead. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Gets it out quick, and it's going the other way. And he is drilled at the 34-yard line. He telegraphed that throw. He eyed his receiver the whole way. That was an easy read by the defense. From the 34-yard line, first down. Pittsburgh is up a field goal. Wants to throw outside. And he's tackled right away. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 10. And he makes it out to about the eight yard line. From the 11 yard line. Third down. Throws out and through his hands. These guys, especially in the secondary, really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball. It's up, and they tack on three points. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is, we still have such a close game despite how well they play. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. And they got it. He has one job on passing situations. Get to the quarterback. And he did that job very, very well on that play.
They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. They'll bring him down at the 20. Quick pass, and he's right there to knock it away. Addison waiting the return. He's at midfield. They'll bring him down at the 49. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Pittsburgh with a six-point lead. And he's tackled at the 47-yard line. That's a game of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. From the 47-yard line, second down. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle at the 40. And they make the stop at the 36-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 36-yard line. Run right and hit in the backfield. The defense needs to be careful. The safety might have made that play, but if he keeps coming up on the run, he'll be spaced downfield for the pass. to about the 37-yard line. Third down again. He might have a chance. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Davis gains about five yards on the run. That'll make it fourth and six. Pittsburgh up six. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he just drilled it from long range. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Tigers have got to find a way now to get the football in this guy's hands. And I think about basketball players and a jump shooter. You can't get him the, the ball, get him to the free throw line, get him one free one from 15 feet. Or... I agree with you 100%. I mean, and this is one of those games where the defense has just been suffocating. They've taken this wide receiver out of the game. Uh, this offense has not been able to come up with some answers. I would continue to fight as an offensive coordinator and a play caller to find different ways to get this receiver a touch. And all it takes, Brad, as you said, is just one play to maybe create that spark and get this confidence established for this offense. From their own 24-yard line, second down. Got it to his man on the screen. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Taken back three yards. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. Taken down at the 22-yard line. Yeah. 
They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Looking for the corner. Addison fields it the 31. The offense ready to go again. And their last drive ended with three points. Fires out to his receiver. That's a great tackle at the 50. First and 10. Ball on the 50-yard line. He's taken down around the 49-yard line. Tackled after a decent pickup. They're about four yards away here on third down. Fires out to his wideout. Brought down at about the 31. Made at the 29. It's second down and eight. Ball in the 29. He gets out to about the 28 yard line. Gain of one on the play. That makes it third and seven. Receivers got it on the screen. He's hit and taken down. It's fourth down. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. It has the distance, and he splits the uprights. Pittsburgh lines up for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The defense really shut these guys down the last time they had the ball. They'll get him for a loss. from their own 24-yard line. It's second down. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Number two was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it third and 11. There's a strike complete. Knocked out of bounds around the 29-yard line. And watch out. They're going to bring the heat right here. He dropped it. He was definitely peeking to see what kind of space he had to run. And that loss of focus is what cost him. That return man is lucky that his team got the ball back or he would have heard an earful from the coach. Actually, he probably will anyway. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Green nine, green nine. 
with a quick throw. Makes the grab and steps out right away. Looks like the defense played the run that time. With this offense, you've got to be ready for a pass on any down in any situation. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 45. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. And he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Quick throw. Surprising to me that the secondary was in such good position. I thought the play call had him fooled at first, but a nice play by the D. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. He's under some heat. Clemson's going to take their first time out of the half. Shipley is back to receive. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Dumps it complete to the halfback, over the middle. And down he goes, around the 18-yard line. It's second and 12, ball on the 18. it to the outside you don't want to ever give your opponent a second chance but that's exactly what they did by not making that interception he's out to the 30 the 50 and they push him out around the 45-yard line. What a huge run by the tailback. It's pretty obvious that this offensive line controlled the line of scrimmage that time, but did you see how this halfback eluded the defense? First and 10 following that big run. Quick strike to the receiver. He's tackled around the 41-yard line. Clemson will take their second time out of the half. Going for it all to the end zone. Touchdown, Clemson. They look awesome on that play. A well-thrown football and a great effort to get the ball into the end zone. And he adds the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's in trouble. He airs it out. Man, I don't know if this quarterback misread the defense or just made a poor decision, but that wasn't a pass he should have thrown. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Here we go. Green 19. Green 19. He 
Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Sometimes when you think you've got great plays called, the defense just has the answers. Chipley is back deep to return. He really got a hold of that one. And he's tackled at the 40-yard line. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. Quick strike, and he drops it. It's second and ten. Ball on the 40. He makes it to the 42-yard line. He steps out at the 46-yard line. We're going to halftime, and we've got a great game. 1914, Pittsburgh. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Offensive coordinators get a lot of attention in college football these days. Understandably so. A lot of innovation going on in the sport. Yep. I don't know if this is innovation as much as just execution and, and explosive playmaking. Yeah, and there's always a rhythm and a flow to offensive play calling. And you start to, you can see them when they start to get into it and everything just goes perfect. And right now, that's the rhythm and flow. I mean, right now, Everything that they're dialing up seems to be working, and that's a special skill. It, it's not everybody can do it. Sometimes you get too creative and shoot yourself in the foot, but right now, passing it will, running it will, really picking good spots for both of those plays for whether it's a run or a pass, they're picking their spots, and it's working really well. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler in Kirk Herb Street. Great first half. Hopefully the second half's as good. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Looks left, finding his tailback. And he shoved out of bounds around the 27-yard line. It's second and eight. Ball on the 27-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Slings it, and he's tackled at the 37-yard line. Hill makes the tackle at the 37-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From their own 37-yard line, first down. On the run. They'll bring him down at the 37. That makes it second and 10. it up the middle for a nice run. Third down, five yards to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's a game seven on the way. First down. They 
Savage right on the right side. Tackle at the 47. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 47. Decides to slide. This is the ninth play of this drive. And they get nice yardage on that run. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. He airs it out. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. And so now the ball's turned over on downs. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And they make the stop at midfield. And a pickup of about seven. Hey, they picked up an ice gain of seven yards on that play. Great pass. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And they'll get him in the backfield. Lost a score on the play. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. From the 36 yard line, it's first down. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Personal foul, face mask, defense. Concentration laps right there. The coaches will be giving them an earful for it, too. From the 18-yard line, first down. And he's taken down right around the 18-yard line. Nothing there on the keeper. That makes it second and ten. Caught open field. He's brought down in the open field. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. He's taken down right around the four-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. run there. Davis gains about four yards on the play. From the one yard line. It's second down. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. Inside you. And they got him for a loss. That is a loss of two yards. That makes it third and goal. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Hey, check, check. Hey, 
Touchdown, Panthers. Nice run and a score by the halfback. And a nice call by the coach there. Just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line. Tough run there against the goal line defense. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nine-play, 53-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. The score now, 26-14. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Throws incomplete. The quarterback had a tough time with a blitz on that one. Now with this guy, you can't let him stand back there and have too much time to throw the ball. You've got to get a hand in his face. Second and 10. Ball on the 22-yard line. made at about the 25-yard line. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. And they get the sack. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. So no luck on that drive as they go three and out. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. He's tackled at the 47-yard line. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force them into a mistake. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Throws on the run complete. He's pushed out of bounds, right around the 46-yard line. Toss is left, intercepted. Hey, this could potentially turn this football game around. They're down by a couple scores. But if you're the offense and you're on the sideline and you're not feeling good about yourself and your defense comes up with an interception like that, boy, oh boy, you're grabbing your helmet and sprinting on that field and you're ready to go. From their own 29-yard line, first down. Quick throw, almost intercepted. How did he drop that? The defender did everything that he needs to do. He read the play perfectly. He stepped up, and what does he do? He drops the interception. Boy, the offense caught a break there. Hand off, and he's met immediately. So the halfback loses about two on the run. from their own 27-yard line. Third down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Down. 
Addison will be the return man. What a collision. When he made the decision to return the ball, I'm sure he thought there was going to be some room to run. But boy, did it vanish in a hurry. Still, he got something out of it. Quarterback couldn't maintain possession on their last drive. Let's see what he does here. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. And he's brought down there by the senior at linebacker. That won't be the last time today we'll be talking about this young man. From their own 36-yard line, it's second down. Run left, and he's taken down in the backfield. That's a loss of five yards. That'll make it third and 13. Here's a little draw play. Brought down at the 34-yard line. Shipley is back awaiting the punt. Shipley takes it to 25. They'll bring him down at the 32-yard line. The defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. Down two possessions, this offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Fires out to his receiver, and down he goes at the 39. Frank makes the tackle at the 39-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. A quarter to go, and can they pull the upset? The Panthers lead it by 12. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. He's tackled at the 48. From their own 48-yard line, it's first down. Gets it out quickly. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. And he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. So it's another third down upcoming here. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. A complete to the halfback over the middle. And he's tackled at the 46 yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And that 
one's incomplete. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. From their own 46-yard line, second down. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. complete and he stopped immediately Shipley awaiting the return He puts it away, and it's a great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Here's the halfback. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. A decent run up the gut. That's good for a gain of seven yards. First from their own 37 yard line. First down. On the ground, up the middle. Good outside run there. That'll bring up second and three. Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. They'll line it up again on third down. On play action, he'll scramble. The ball is loose, and the offense picks it up. Tackle at the 41-yard line. From the 41 yard line. First down. On the throw, incomplete pass. And this play is number eight on the drive. bring him down around the 44 yard line well the question now is how will they respond after losing a couple on that run third down now and they need to get it down to the 31 quick out to his receiver and they make the stop at the 25. Well, they're living on the edge here a little bit, but, you know, they're converting when they have to. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Three down, three down. 
Good open field tackle. From the 24-yard line, second down. They'll give it off here, and he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. This is the 12th play of this drive. Man can't tack on any yardage. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. The 10. Tackled after a decent pickup. Makes the tackle. Gain of seven yards. That makes it first and goal. And this is the 14th play of the drive. So he decides to hold on to it, and that's going nowhere. This freshman does a good job of reading and reacting to the play from his spot in the secondary, and he makes a good tackle. It's second and goal. Ball on the nine. Now he tries to buy some time. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. Boy, did he look determined running the football. Nobody was going to keep him out of the end zone. He makes the PAT. Clemson is ready to kick it away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 24. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. And he's tackled after positive yardage. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. Here we go. Check, check. 98 Weasel. 98 Weasel. it up the middle for a nice run. From their own 35-yard line, it's first down. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Here we go. Makes the catch and look out. He's taken down right around the 42-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He's at midfield. It's a fumble, and no one can get it. It bounces out of bounds. He makes it out to about the 44-yard line. 
The running back gets two on the carry. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 44. That's a great tackle at the 45-yard line. Did you see how quickly he was able to get into the backfield and make that tackle? Not many guys that big can move that fast. Nice run there. You know, great effort here by the ball carrier, but I think they need to pass in that situation most of the time. He doesn't want a touchback here. He wants to knock this ball inside the 10. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Clemson staff know that they've got a guy in a crucial situation that can maybe make the difference in the ball game, but you can't just rely on him alone. Yeah, you got a real difference maker lined up on the outside. The defense knows that. You know they're going to tilt their defense, the secondary especially, towards him. It's going to open up some opportunities for other wide receivers and maybe even running backs out of the backfield to be able to make plays. He wants it all. Incomplete. That pass sailed over the receiver's head. This guy can wing it, that's for sure. He just needs to improve on his accuracy. From their own 20-yard line, second down, under a minute left. Fires that quickly, incomplete. This one out to the right. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. And this one could be on the defense. Pass, Pass interference. interference. Offense. offense. Little stumbles like these can Still kill your win. offensive progress. And if they don't convert here, then the game is over. Well, you can talk about offense all you want, and they were good today, but the defense was better. They come up with a play of the day, and that'll lead to the victory. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see who's got the most leadership. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. seen his name all over the headlines he's not going to like the headlines tomorrow no it just showed up a little bit flat today and I, I don't know if it's complacency that set in or he just did not quite look like himself the entire offense didn't look like themselves and they're going to have to learn from this and try to move on that does it for this edition of NCAA football 14 for Kirk Herbstreit I'm Brad Nessler saying so long <laughs> <laughs>